guys, it's Ashley. This is a little bit of a weird angle and I apologize. I've already put up my phone um, contraption thing, tripod thing. So I'm not gonna drag it back out. I literally just finished cleaning everything up in here, which you guys are gonna see in just a second. But I wanted to hop on real quick and tell you guys that this is going to be a series. So what I have happening currently is my office is an absolute disaster. You guys will see that here in just a second, but my office is a mess. And we're gonna start working on getting it organized, decluttered, cleaning some things up because I have a friend of ours who is building me a custom desk to go in this office. So a lot of this stuff is, it needs to go or it needs to be moved, needs to be reorganized. So like I said, it's gonna be a series. We're gonna start this off with a few videos of me organizing things, decluttering, that type of thing. I need to paint that wall. I need to start moving some things out once the, once the desk comes. I'll film us putting the desk in, me organizing everything. I'm just really, really excited for this. This this is that change that I've been needing and it just can't happen soon enough. Sometimes in life we have to make changes and for me this is a big one that's been, it's been needing to come. I love my office. I love all of my Ikea furniture and stuff, my desk and everything like that, but I need a bigger desk. And all of the ones that I found they were big enough, but man, they were so expensive. Like the ones that I needed for the size that I needed was so expensive. It's actually cheaper for me to pay our friend to build me a custom desk with custom drawers, custom size and everything, the layout that I want than it is to go and buy multiple desks and reorganize them the way that I want them. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So that's the journey I'm on right now. I hope you guys will stick around for it. I hope you'll subscribe. I will have a playlist set up for it and yeah, let's go ahead and dive in and start cleaning this disaster. All right, so here we go. Part one. So today I went and I got some storage supplies. I went to Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and Walmart, and I picked up a few different things so we can start organizing the office. But first, I want to show you the office and kind of walk you through it because it's literally a disaster. There's a part of me that is slightly embarrassed to show you guys this mess because, I mean, look at this. This is crazy which is okay, we're gonna work on it today. But this is just kind of a little overview of everything. And like I said, I've got a new custom desk coming in. So we've got to organize some stuff, get some stuff ready to uh, make some room for that desk. The desk is actually gonna go on that wall right there and it'll come out and, I mean, I'll show you guys once we get to that, we're not there yet. Today we're just organizing. So um, here's some of the stuff that I picked up today to use to organize everything. And then over here inside of the closet desk, the desk itself is not too, too bad. Underneath of here, this stuff is for my tiered tray. That's on my kitchen table. So I've got fall stuff in that one. This is my nautical stuff that stays out year round. Um, this one up here, I'll put my Halloween stuff in once Halloween's over. And I have my son's school stuff in that little tote. And then a few extra little um, baskets that I was using before. And then up here, oh, just more, more things. That's all I know. It's just more things. Um, this here is mainly the area that we're going to focus on today is getting all of my craft stuff for memory keeping organized. So American Crafts had an amazing sale and this entire box was full of stuff and I ordered it and I'm trying to organize it. So that's, that's the first part of today. Um, you can kind of see over here my little trash pile I've started. I already started organizing some things. I have my sticker cart over there. That's my Bible study cart. And then on this shelf, on this little Ikea cube system here, I really don't know what to do, you guys. So here's my, here's my dilemma. I need more, actually, here's my dilemma. When the desk comes in, I don't know that I'm gonna have enough room in this office for this big shelf. So there's a part of me that's like, I need to just get this thing empty because I don't know if I'm gonna have room for it, right? And then I have these two shelves as well. So I've got it, I gotta figure out where everything's gonna go, how I'm gonna do all of that for now. Like I said, we're just gonna organize today, but I think I might end up getting rid of a lot of my old planners. I never really go back through those and look at them. There's no point in me keeping them. I don't like sitting down reminiscing about all the things that I've had to do, you know what I mean? So I might end up getting rid of some of my old planners, but in this top, shelf up here these are all not all some of them are current planners some of them are 2022 planners those are my happy notes these are just like accessories for my planner those ones i don't remember 
those are my deluxe covers these are there's actually two rows of planners there so I need to go through those ones these are my big planners those I don't remember exactly what's in those I don't think the top one has anything in it um, I think the bottom one has some planner accessories but anyways we will work on this whole entire system another day so I don't even know why I'm stressing about it but it's aggravating me this whole entire room is aggravating me I can't even film a video over there because that's a mess so we are going to get started and the first thing that I'm going to organize is all of my little embellishments for uh, memory keeping I started to put them all in these little containers here that I picked up oops sorry you guys can see my finger but I started to put them in this little container that I picked up from Amazon because these ones are stackable but when I started to stack them the ones in this bottom are getting smashed and I don't like that so I have some other containers that we're going to move all of those out of and then I'll still use these containers I'm not for sure um, what we'll put in them yet but I'll have these ones like it's three of them that can stack yes I can put this one on top but then the lid smashes those down and bends them so I have a new container for that so that is where we're going to start First things first, we gotta turn on some good old 90s country music because that's my jam. And then we're gonna start organizing these. So like I said, I'm taking the things out of the smaller containers and I'm putting them into these, this bigger one because when I would stack those containers, things would become smashed. And I was thinking the smaller containers might be good for like use one bottom section to separate out stuff for my sewing machine, which I'll show you guys where that stuff is at here later on in the video. Um, but I might use like one of those containers for that, like one of the sections and I don't know. Things are kind of up in the air and a little chaotic right now. I have, I just, I just want to get my new desk in. So once it's in there, I can really start to organize and declutter things and figure out where things need to go. And then you guys will see, I'll talk about it later, but I, I want to in the future get shelves put above it. So then I have more storage for some of these things. But for now, we're just getting these things transferred over. This bigger container works out perfectly for all of these little embellishments from Heidi Swap. These are a part of her Storyline Chapter kits. So I just stuck those in there so they're all together. All right, this is what I was thinking about doing with this container. I was going to take my stamps and start putting them in here, but this is not, not tall enough for these larger stamps that I have. So I'm gonna have to find a new way to store these. Actually, um, I lied, I did get something for these. Hold on, hold on, I'm losing my mind. I'll show you guys this one. This is, uh, like I said, this is the Storyline Chapters. And I just stuck a little piece of tape on the side here and wrote Storyline Chapters by Heidi Swap. This is where I'll keep all of those, and I'm excited because this gives me more room to add to um, my little pile that I'm starting. So there's that one. That one's finished, but over here, I got some clear bins. I think I might have some more in the kitchen. I picked up these clear bins at TJ Maxx. Sorry, that's probably loud on the microphone. It's not loud in person, but I think these will work, and then I can slide these temporarily inside of there so let's see oh yes that's gonna work out perfectly all right so let's stick all of those inside of here
So for these things, these little containers here, I think I might leave them the way that they are right now. Like here, I've got little chipboard letters. These are some craft letters that I have. This has got some tags in it. This was a part of a little kit from Heidi Swap that actually fell apart in the box. I think you guys can see right down there, there's still some more pieces of it that I have to pick up. And then over here, I just have some random little things. This was from a little kit that I purchased. This was a kit. So I think for some of this stuff over here that I have, I might stick it, kind of organize all of this some fashion, I'm not really for sure yet. Some of this stuff I'm not gonna take out of its package. I will find somewhere to store it because I don't, I don't wanna take it out of its package. Do you know what I mean? Like I wanna keep stuff together. Like this right here, I've never done this before, never used it, so I wanna have all of it together so I know what it is if I need to like watch a Google video or a YouTube video, watch a Google video. Watch a YouTube video on, you know, what it is and how to do it. And then I have like some stencils. There's a couple of random little sticker books that I picked up, tags, like I said. So I think I'm just gonna start there with these ones and organize those. Now I do have another one of these bigger containers that I used for the storyline chapters, but Christmas is coming up and I've already started like a little mini Christmas haul. I think I've got some stuff from Allie Edwards in here, some cards and things. And I kind of want to keep one of these ones here and this one for Christmas stuff. And so as my collection goes, I have somewhere to store all of that stuff. Or I would be putting the rest of these kits inside of that one. And Hobby Lobby only had two of those and I bought the last two that they had. So for now, this little thing's going to work, but in the future I may upgrade to something a little bit bigger and then use this for, I don't know, sewing supplies or random tools or who knows. I may end up rearranging all of these things if you guys know me at all this is just what i do i end up rearranging things 110 times until until i get a system that works and sometimes that's just what you have to do so let's go ahead and organize these and i'll see what i come up with here most of the things i have here are from heidi swap like i said american crafts normally i would never buy this much stuff at once like ever it would just be i would get little things here as i go but american crafts had like 70 percent off the of heidi swap stuff and i'm slightly obsessed with her and her items so i kind of i kind of uh went a little crazy with things but i'm excited about it because now whenever i sit down to memory keep i can use all of these fun different elements so the cool thing about these little containers that I got from Hobby Lobby is that the little inserts come out. The bigger containers are the same way. You can reorganize your inserts. So I took some of those little plastic dividers out and I've got like the bigger tags stuck together. Some of those kits, I just, I'm opening them up and I'm sticking them together inside of here. And these are smaller kits. So whenever I stack these up, they're not like the items in them are smaller. I don't know exactly how many items are in each kit, but the things are not so big, so whenever I stack them, they're not getting smashed, which is why the, these little containers work out perfectly for all of these different little items. Some of these things, you guys will see, I end up keeping them together in their package, and I have them in a drawer. i show you guys that later on, because I didn't know for sure what I wanted to do with those. But for the most part, we're getting a lot of this stuff on my desk organized. Now, one thing I totally forgot to get I actually made a sticky note of things that of containers that I needed to get when I before I went to the store and then I completely forgot my sticky note and one of the things I totally forgot to get was sto washi storage and um, I don't know if I show it later or not but I just ha I just left the washi tape you guys can see some of it laying up there on the top of the screen the Halloween stuff that's washi tape so I just left it in its containers for now but what I'm wondering is what do you guys recommend for washi tape storage? Do you like those little containers that I see people using? Do you like the little drawer system where they like pull the drawer out and then there's like rows of washi tape in it? Or do you guys have the rings? Do you guys use rings for washi tape storage on like um, a pegboard? Tell me, tell me how you guys store your washi tape before I go out and purchase something so then I have some ideas um, as like different ways to store it.
so I have this one done. It's not totally full, so I have a little bit of room to grow. Doesn't mean I need to make it completely full, right? <laughs> Something I'm trying to learn. Okay, so anyways, we have that done. Um, these little kits here, these are Heidi Swap. I honestly am probably gonna leave all of these kits together and then stick them on the shelf for now and then maybe find something else for those to go into. Same thing with these ones. Or as I use them, I might start to separate them a little bit more. Um, so there's all of those together. And then I think now what I'm gonna do, um, I thought about doing the Christmas stuff, like putting all of it together, but I'm gonna hold off for just a minute. And inside of here, I have, not that door, this one I believe, full of pins. I, I need to consolidate these is what I need to do. But I have all these pins inside of here and I actually got this silverware organizer from TJ Maxx and I think I'm going to try it and see if it'll work to at least, if I can get most of these inside of here and have it look decent and then consolidate down some of these containers. I like these containers, they don't move, they're really nice. But um, I have some other things inside of here that I could be using these containers for, like to divide some things out inside of here. And, well, not in there, that's all big stuff. But this drawer down here, this has got some old scrap vinyl. It's got my roller for my Cricut down here for now. I do have some uh, 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl down here. My vinyl rolls are put up somewhere else. I would love to get all of those things together one day too, but for now, everything's a little bit of a mess. This is all extra school supplies for my kiddo for school. And then these are just some craft stuff, just those little foam sheets. These are little scrapbook sheets. This drawer here is currently where I'm sticking some of my cardstock. I have my paper cutter, some extra cardstock, some scrap papers. So that's what that one is. And then like I said, this one's the pins. Nope, just kidding. This one has inks in it for stamping. And I would like to leave this all for stamping. And then we start with my pins and so on and so forth. So let's start with this and let's see if we can get this organized a little better. Some of you guys are watching this and you have straight up anxiety about how much crap I have inside of this office or how many pins I have and you're like, what, what the heck is going on? Like, why does she have so much? One, I already told you I have a problem with stationery and this is a slight obsession and I absolutely love it, all of the things. <laughs> but I genuinely use most of this stuff. Um, like, I don't think I've used my Tombows in a while. I actually consider giving those to my kiddo. I haven't let him use my Tombows because they're kind of expensive and he tears up markers, but I haven't been using them and they're gonna dry out. So I thought about just like letting him have them. Most of these pins in here, he'll come in and grab different pins and we, we do different things, we make stuff. Um, just whatever, you know what I mean? Like it's there, I know it seems like a lot. It is a lot, there's no seeming like it's a lot. There is a lot of crap inside of here, but I love it. This is my hobby. This is what I love to do. This is my thing and I've gone all in with it. So if you're like watching this and you're like, holy cow, she has a lot of crap. I do and I won't apologize for it because this is my jam. I love it. Almost as much as I love 90s country music. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. Right, a little bit more progress has been made so all of those have been emptied out and all of that stuff has been consolidated now mainly into one thing combo those it's just not gonna work there's too many of them it would take up, up a couple of those little compartments so for now it's just gonna stay inside of here might find some other solution might just leave it where it is but this this gives me so much more room now where I can add other things in here if I want to, if I wanna maybe put all of my markers inside of here and pins and, and that kind of thing, everything can be inside of one drawer. So that helped out. Now these file, file folders that I picked up at Walmart, I was so excited because they're plastic and the current ones that I have, I'm trying not to spin too fast to make you guys sick. These ones here are just like the paper ones are kind of junky. Um, I think, I don't remember where, I have two different sets. So see how those ones have the circle, those have the rectangle. These ones are a little bit more sturdier. These ones here just, I mean, they'll collapse on you like nothing. So, let's spin back around here nice and slow. <laughs> I got these ones because I'm like, heck yes, they're plastic. 
that was awesome until you take the cardboard out and realize there's no freaking end on it like what the heck that sucks big time so i honestly might rig this up here to where this like i'll just tape it tape this in there so that way it actually has an end on it because they're going to, it's going to be hidden anyways for now inside of there plus i'm just taping it on there so it's easy to come off and if the tape leaves a residue on it since it's plastic a little bit of goo gone will bring that off no problem so i think that's what i'm going to do really quickly and then i'm actually going to change those out and get rid of those ones and then if this works out okay i might get some more of these since it doesn't have a back on it i might get some more and use those for um the paper pads like the 12 by 12 paper pads and stuff because they'll fit in there it'll actually you know stick out some but if i do that then i can hide all those actually let's see if that works maybe i should do that first instead of putting the back on them because these ones are working for now i just don't like them because they're like i said they're kind of junky where they're paper ones so i have a couple of paper pads in here and i just don't ever really get them out because they're shoved in there see what if i did this see that gives it a little bit of room where it can hang out and then these could go right there and see that keeps them all together now th these containers have little rubber things on the bottom so that's why it's hard to move but see that would that would work out fantastic okay maybe i'll do that but then that makes me want to reorganize this because i want to keep like all my scrapbooking stuff together planner stuff kind of separate like i don't want everything wonky and spread out huh so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a breather i'm gonna let my mind think for a few minutes and kind of decide on how i want to go about this if i want to put those things over here inside of the big cube system if i want to leave them in the doors and just kind of figure things out and then i'll be back in a second this is like the weirdest angle ever but what i'm doing here and i'll show you guys this a little bit later is i have those uh, magazine files that do not have a back on them so pay attention if you guys go and get those from walmart make sure they have a back on them on the bottom there if you guys are wanting that but i'm organizing cardstock inside of here and i think this was a better way to use these instead of using them to replace my old ones because my old ones are working just fine they're kind of janky like i said they're they're paper and they you have to be careful whenever you pull them out to get paper out of them but these work out perfectly for organizing all of the cardstock that i have and i like i said i show you guys here in just a little bit how i put everything together all right so here's what i've done so far i have taken the two rows of planners that were here these are my favorites these are ones i'm going to keep the ones I'm not going to keep, I took the discs, I kept the discs, I also found some other little fun things. Um, really cute dividers that I like. I have a few dashboards here that I found. Um, folders, some sticky notes, different little things that were still left inside of the planners. You guys, I've been planning since 2017 and I have not looked back through these until today. Um, I think I might have pulled a few of them out maybe for a video or something, but as far as actually sitting down and looking through them, I didn't even look through them like fully today. But I can tell you that these ones here are the ones that I want to keep. So that consolidates some, that gets some of those planers out of there. And I think I'm going to put these back in here. And what I might do is end up making this whole bottom row planner stuff down here. I'll show you guys that stuff in a little bit. But the whole bottom row planner stuff and then the whole top row is going to be memory keeping stuff. Because here's the thing. My thought process here lately has been thinking about my kiddo in the future and is, would he rather look back through old planners and old to-do lists and stuff, or would he rather see books that have pictures and stories and just the memory keeping of his life, of my life, of my husband's, our whole entire family? Like, he, he's not gonna care about these planners like I do. So that's why I'm kind of getting rid of a lot of those other ones. Like seriously, you guys, I haven't looked through them. I have no intentions of sitting down and looking through them, so there's no point in keeping them. I would rather have that space to store um, I'll show you binders for memory keeping stuff you know and then I can store these and he would much rather look through these 
then through old planner. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I love to plan. I'm not giving up planning. I'm not stopping that. So if you're, if you're, um, here because you like watching my planner stuff, like that's not going away, but I don't want to keep all of these old planners unless it's something that's like near and dear to my heart. Some of these I could care less about. You know what I mean? I like one. I think I have one that was from nursing school. It's one of my favorite planners ever. And I kept it because I love that planner, but the other ones, I don't really care. Like I, it's not, it's not hitting, pulling on my heartstrings, you know? So I would rather have the space to be able to store memory keeping stuff for my kiddo to have in the future or for my husband to look through my family, anybody, you know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. That's why I'm like kind of trying to minimize the amount of planner stuff I have. I'm not buying every sticker book anymore. I'm not buying every planner. Like I'm really trying to be mindful of the things that I'm purchasing and I'm ready to go all in on memory keeping to document those memories and stories of our life. So that was just kind of my thought process. All right, let me show you the other thing we have going on today. So this is uh, Smoa Joe. I think he's called Big Joe. Right there's the tag, Big Joe. This is like a giant, not like a bean bag. It's like a fluffy bag, I don't know. So anyways, that's inside of my hallway blocking my exit because I'm getting a new couch today, you guys. I'm so excited. So I had two couches in here. There used to be a giant sectional over there in that corner. It's gone now. And then my mom has taken that couch and I have a new one coming. So this is like my project today is getting this new couch in and getting the office clean. The rest of my house is a disaster and let's just not, nope, just stay out there. So um, my other project is going to be to go through all of this. This is my nursing school stuff. I, ha I have asked so many people and I think I found somebody who's gonna take it, which makes me excited. Now a couple of the binders, these like big white binders, I'm gonna keep those because I have some ideas for storing some memory keeping supplies that'll keep, that'll like make it where I'm using less containers. So I'll show you guys that in the future, but for right now we're not there. So this is kind of, this is what I'm doing all day today. I've already swept and mopped and I actually mopped the walls, which sounds crazy, I know, but I use one of these spin mops and if you spin it out, like really, really good spin it out, you can take it over your walls and it's a lot faster than using um, like a, a rag in your hand. So that's what, that's what I'm up to today. Let's go back down my hallway. Giant Smoa Joe in the way. And then disastrous office. So my dad is actually picking up my, um, he's on his way to pick up my couch right now. And I need to get a little bit more of this done. So I'm actually not gonna film it. I'm gonna turn on some more music. I'm gonna get some stuff done and then I'll hop back on here and I'll show you guys where I'm at. All right, there's a part of me that feels like I have not made much progress and it still feels very just disorganized. But first things first, I can see my desk. Like there's an actual desk there. Um, and I got a lot of things put away and put up for now. I have an entire box of trash that can come out of here. I have all of this stuff here that's going to go to my niece, so I'll give her all of that. I started to put some of my stuff for Christmas in a tote, and then, yeah. So, here's what I've done. For now, I have these that I fixed earlier. Those are just setting up here. So, what I'm going to do is, in the top of here, in those white bins, those are all of my original Happy Planner sticker books. And I'm going to give those to my niece as well, because she will have a heyday with them. I'm literally leaving them in the top of there. So I'm gonna give those to her and then I'm gonna put some other stuff up there so I can make room for these. So anyways, there's those ones. There's the other ones that I made. I stuck these inside of this one for now just to have them up here, stored up here. This whole entire system's not gonna stay in here once I get the new desk, but for now it's I'm gonna use it. That's just there. Um, I put all of my like, these things are for Halloween, and I just recently got them, so Halloween's like next week, and I didn't get to do anything with them. That one says 31, beware, boo. That one says spooky, it's like a um, banner, and then this one's a light up thing that says happy Halloween. So what I'm gonna do when I put up my Halloween decor is I'll put that stuff up for next year, and I'll just do it next year. Those are my son's books. These are some things that need to go back to Ikea, and then he has more books down there. Those, they are also need to go back to Ikea, but Ikea is like two hours away from me, so that's why I haven't done that yet. And then up here, 
I picked up this little thing from Walmart and I have my son's little Cub Scout memory keeping book that I've started, some papers, and then I stuck my laptop in there. iPad's out because I'm listening to music. And then this is my planner, cleaner, that's my son's, up here. So like I said, I wanted to use some of those containers for Christmas stuff, but I don't have all my Christmas stuff yet. Literally, this is the stack that I have. So for now, it's gonna stay there and I'll organize that another day. I put some tools in here, this little paintbrush thing, some sequins and different things, little punches. There's ribbon in this one back here. And then this is just like that random stuff that I had. There's some stickers, more stickers, little sticker books, the stencils, that kind of thing. These two in this brown bag are from Heidi Swap. This one's a, a kit, a memory keeping kit that has a book like this in it, but it's red. I'm gonna use that for Christmas. And then this one here is for Halloween and it's a project that I'm gonna start on here very soon. Here, it's pretty much empty. So this is like vellum and um, some chipboard and stuff inside of there. Any more specialty paper that I get, I will put inside of this drawer. Here, still looks the same as earlier, nothing's changed. This one's still the same. This one's pretty much emptied out. So I just have my paper cutter in there and some scrap, scrapbook paper. And then the bottom one has not changed either. It's still a disaster. My desk gets cleared off. This goes, this is the rag I've been cleaning with. This goes to my kitchen. That's my phone case, obviously. <laughs> so there's that. These things over here, I don't know. Those might stay when the new desk comes in. They might not. So the plan is to have the desk across this wall. And then above it in the future, I want to get some shelves built. And then I may end up putting all my sticker books up there and taking those two carts out. So we'll see. For over here, these little things, I just stuck them up here. These are to make um, rugs with. So I've got one for Christmas. And then this one says home sweet home and we'll use that one all year. I just have to find the blank rugs. So I haven't done those yet. And then inside of these three and those three, I have cardstock. So this one here is Heidi Swap stuff. This one here is just like plain cardstock. This one's like florals. Then I have some stamps. I have this binder, memory keeping binder. I have more stamps. This one has, What's in there? Oh, this one's Halloween. This one's Christmas. This has my happy planner um, cardstock and maybe sticks in there. We have an empty cube, you guys. So inside of here, this is stuff for my sewing machine. I'm gonna find a little thing to reorganize all this and, and have this kept up there by my sewing machine, but for now it's fine. These are 2022 planners that I'm gonna be using this year. So those are there with my accessories. I just moved those over a shelf and then the rest of my planners are all down here with another empty cube. So that makes me excited. But I think for now I'm going to be finished because my parents are on their way with my couch. So I'm gonna go sweep and mop again just to make sure it's really, really clean. And I'm honestly probably just gonna enjoy the couch. I feel like I've, I've made some progress today. Might work on it again tomorrow. But again, this is a series. So make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna have some more videos coming up. We gotta paint this wall. We're gonna start moving things out of here whenever the desk comes. So just hang tight and go on this fun little journey with me. And anything else that I organize, I will video and show you guys. If you guys wanna see it, just, just let me know in the comments section. And the new couch has arrived and I am stoked about it. Our old couch was over 10 years old. It was definitely time to upgrade it and I'm so glad we did. This is actually my favorite room in the house, believe it or not. It's not my office, it's not the craft space, it's actually my living room. I love this room and I love the beach and I decorated it as if we're at the beach, even though we're really in Ohio. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.